Hi uh, guys, Drew here again, bringing you another rough and ready video as I've still not got a new PC as of yet, so um, apologies for the sound quality on this, but uh, good news on the PC front, I should have a PC on, uh, on or before the 1st of March, which is fantastic. So uh, unfortunately you're going to miss most of January and all of February by the looks of it, but things are on the up anyway, and it may be even sooner. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it and getting back to making videos for you guys. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about today is um, Xbox or Microsoft have just announced something really fantastic to be honest with you. And I can't believe I've done it. Is, now, is this the big thing that was rumored? There was a rumor going around that was a there's a big uh, announcement to revel uh, a big you know it would change digital uh, people's impressions of digital gaming. Uh, could this be the announcement? It could be, though. I don't know. We may have to just wait and see. But it is that brand new Xbox exclusive games. So, like, we're talking Sea of Thieves, Crackdown 3, and State of Decay 2 are going to be available on the Xbox Games Pass on launch day. Now, if the Xbox Games Pass wasn't fantastic value enough, this makes it, I think, a no-brainer. Just to get hold of these games straight away is instantly going to save you, you know... Uh, if you if you're in the UK, forty to sixty pounds, depending on where you buy your games from. Uh, I don't know how much games retail for in the US, but I think it's probably about eighty dollars, isn't it? Something like that. But so, it's a bit of a no-brainer, really. But the only uh, elephant in the room, really, which needs answering, is how long are they going to be in the Games Pass for after launch? Because the way Games Pass works is a fluid thing. Titles can enter the Games Pass vault or leave the Games Pass vault. So are these uh, new launches going to be in there for quite some time? Or are they going to be in there as a little bit of a teaser for the first couple of weeks to entice people to buy them? I play an extended demo, for example, and then they're going to get withdrawn. So you then if you want to continue playing, you're going to have to buy the title. I don't know. That's the one thing that these uh, needs clearing up, really. But nevertheless, it's a fantastic move, really, because the Games Pass is a great value prospect anyway you get a hundred games in there and it's a very very nominal fee per month really uh, and even if you've got most of those games it's still worth it even if you only play you know a handful of them even if it's a little as like five or so you get your money back that you pay per month so i think this is a fantastic move and will entice a lot more people to xbox and will definitely uh, up the games pass subscriptions which i already understand are doing very very well so I think this is a fantastic move by Microsoft overall. Just need that one question answering, and I'm sure we'll get some more news about it once uh, interviews and um, and commentaries start dropping from the people involved at uh, Microsoft there. But yeah, in the meantime, guys, uh, thanks everybody for continued support, and uh, we've been getting quite a lot of new subs as well, even though I've not been making videos, which is a little bit unusual. Thank you all for the new subs, and uh, this isn't the usual kind of stuff that I put out there. Just that my uh, my PC's died. If you not watch the videos and i'm working on getting a new one which is going to see me through for the next few years now so uh, thanks everybody and i will speak to you again soon